Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about local variables in your Express applications. So right here we have app.js, which is the main file for our application. And we're requiring Express, and then we're creating a new app with Express. We're setting our view engine to EJS for setting up our template. And then here we have some middleware, which we'll talk about in just a second. And then we have our main route that goes to the root route and it renders an index file that lives inside of this views directory and then we're listening on port 3000 so inside of here I just have the boilerplate HTML5 nothing else so if I go to the browser where I have the server running we don't see anything so how do we take data from the server and get it to the client which is the browser well we can do that with our routes inside of res.render. Res.render takes the first argument, which is the name of the template or the view that we want to compile out to HTML and then send to the browser. So in this case, we're using EJS, which is a template language. And here we can input EJS syntax, which gets compiled on the server, rendered out as HTML, sent to the browser where it gets rendered to the viewer. So an example of that would be back in app.js, the second argument here. So we'll put a comma and add a second argument of an object. And so inside of the curly brackets, we can do key value pairs and give this object properties that become local variables. Uh, local variables are variables that are available to us inside of the template or inside of the view. So in this case, we'll just do something like greeting That'll be the key. So we separate the key and the value with a colon. And then on the right side of the colon, we'll put the value. So the greeting will be a string. Go ahead and use single quotes. And we'll do hello world. So we'll save that. And over here, nothing happens yet because we're not rendering this greeting variable inside of our index template. So if we go back to index.ejs, the way that we can render it is using the EJS syntax. So EJS has the uh, what I call the clown hat syntax. So it's the less than percent, and then we use an equal sign for anything that we want to be actually visible to the user. If we have some logic, then we go ahead and omit the equal sign. So in this case, we want the user to be able to see what the value is of the variable. So we'll type greeting, which is the local variable, and then we'll close it with a percent sign and a greater than symbol. So if we save this, my server is going to restart automatically. So we'll go back here and refresh the page, and there's our greeting, hello world. So just to make it a little bit easier for you all to see, we'll put it inside of a h1 heading tag, and there it is, hello world. Okay. So the great thing about Express is middleware. We can plug in middleware at any point in the request response cycle. Every time you hit a route, we can have any number of middleware that get run before we actually return a response to the user. So this is our forward slash route. If we go here, here's what we get. This is the greeting. Now, if we wanted to use this app.use middleware to add in an additional local variable then we can use something called res.locals so what res.locals is is when we have a request we also have a response that goes with that request so the request would be anything that's coming from the browser to the server and then the server does some stuff there some logic and then it sends something back to the client or to the browser and that would be the response so we have an object available to us in any of our middleware, in any of our route functions, and we have multiple objects. One is rec for request, and the other is res for response. Then we also have one called next, which allows us to trigger the next function in the middleware chain. So if we do res.locals.hello world, what we're doing here is we're adding a property, hello world, to the res.locals object which at this point, there's nothing on that object. And if you don't know about app.use, what app.use does is anytime a route gets hit 
by a request, app.use gets run. So if we go to this right here, which is our root route, not only is this function right here gonna get run and everything inside of it, but before that happens, we're also gonna run this middleware, okay? So we can add hello world to res.locals and it'll be hello world. Well, we already have greeting down here as hello world, so let's change this to something else. So we'll say, uh, my name is, and then we'll say, um, my name is Ian, okay? So I'll save that, and now what we wanna do is take this local variable and render it in our view using the EJS syntax. So back over here in index.ejs, Right below this, we'll put an h2 tag. Of course, we'll have the uh, what I'm calling the clown hat syntax, and then we'll say we'll just paste it in. My name is so we should have hello world, and then the my name is so these are coming from two different places. Greeting for hello world is coming from right here, the second argument to res.render. This is adding a property greeting to res.locals and giving it the value of hello world. This is the last thing that happens right before we compile and render the index EJS view. Before that ever happens, whenever we visit this route, this middleware gets run and we add to the res.locals object a, a property my name is and we set it equal to the string. So my name is gets added to res.locals first and then we get down here and greeting also gets added to res.locals as hello world. So everything's saved. Let's go back to the browser and refresh. There it is. Hello world is our greeting. My name is Ian is the my name is property. So there you have it. That's how you understand the local variables, how you use local variables in your express application. You can add it to the res.locals object in any middleware or you can add it as the second argument inside of a, a, a object literal to the res.render method. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in the next video.